Hey everybody, Ash here with Ten Cents, and I've got the hiccups today, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Coming at you today with a fragrance review of one of the more expensive releases from the House of Parfums de Marly. You can pick this up right now on maxaroma.com, which by the way, this video is sponsored by, and there's a 20% off code, which is good for two weeks from today. That code is ACASTER20. So if you're interested in this one and you wanna pick it up and you wanna save a little bit of money, Go ahead and use that code. This one I wanna keep kind of short and sweet, you know, just get into the nitty gritty of this, tell you if it's worth checking out. So let's do this. Some of you guys are gonna be really pumped right now. I don't have the full presentation for this, so there's no presentation part of this video. It's just this bottle, and it's a damn fine bottle. Look how classy that is, looks dope. I am a big fan of the Parfums de Marley bottles. They just look really classy. And the caps, some of the heaviest in the game. Legitimately deadly projectiles though. You throw this and catch a corner on somebody's head, they're done. Put this in a slingshot, fire that off. Deadly. So a caster, let's talk about this fragrance, right? This is a Rose Oud fragrance, which is one of the most well-known Oud combos in the game. Oud, Saffron, Leather, Rose, those all seem to kind of intermingle. When you first spray this on, it's really... God. When you first spray this on, it's really powerful and in your face. The first five minutes or so are potentially off-putting. Are potentially off-putting. Some people out there are gonna think it's too funky and not wearable. It's this really strong mix of cypress, oud, some lemon, aromatic leaves, rose, spices, lots of stuff going on in the opening. It's not the same, uh, but it's kind of similar to Mancera Red Tobacco in the sense that when you first spray it on, it's all over the place, but then once it dries down, it's really, really nice. Red Tobacco takes a little bit longer to dry down than a caster, though. Within five minutes, this one is dried down enough that all that initial funkiness is gone. It becomes a really pleasing rose oud combo with a lot of spiciness kind of on the periphery just supporting the rose and the oud. The main spices I get are saffron and cardamom, both really well done here. Cardamom lends a little bit of sweetness. There's also touches of leather, a little bit of incense, which adds just a little light smokiness in the background. The oud in this fragrance is not overpowering. It's not fecal, it's not animalic. And the rose in this one is more of a dusty rose. So you've got this nice dusty rose and the oud is a little bit musty. Those two combined with just a ton of other notes supporting them. I know if you look on Fragrantica, it looks like there are only six notes, but in actuality, there are much, much more. There's a little bit of earthiness and patchouli in this fragrance, which I really pick up mostly on in the opening and that initial barrage that you get hit with. After that tones down, the patchouli is not as evident, but it's still there. There's even praline and sandalwood, which adds a creamy gourmet Mondi sweet feel in the dry down. So there's a lot going on here, but everything is blended really <clears throat> oh. <laughs> But everything is blended really well, so you don't get one note that's really out of balance It's not like you have one or two notes that are just completely out of whack screwing up the mix of the fragrance But again, it is mainly just a rose oud combination with all these other notes just kind of combining in the background to make interesting nuances of sweetness and spiciness to go along with the rose and the oud. Longevity here, you're looking at about seven to eight hours. And projection for me is above average, it's strongest in the first hour and a half. Then it starts to sit closer to the skin. It's never really overpowering to me, but it is a fragrance that's not really cut out to be worn casually in all that many situations. Just because it is a rose oud fragrance. So it's gonna be best worn in fall and winter, in cooler temperatures, and it does lean a little bit more on the formal side than it does the casual side. But as usual, you do you. Wear it whenever you want. Just don't choke anybody out around you. With great power comes great responsibility. It also comes across a little bit more like middle-aged and older. I don't believe too many younger guys out there are gonna be wanting to reach for a rose oud, praline, sandalwood, saffron, incense, leather fragrance. But I could be wrong. To me, it smells really, really nice. It's one that's gonna get more wear though in fall. Right now with temperatures heating up, I don't imagine I'm gonna be reaching for it. At least not until it starts to cool back down. The opening here is gonna scare some people off, but wait that through. After five minutes, it's bomb. Really well done, westernized rose oud. Sweet, earthy, dusty, a little bit musty, rich smelling, classy, a bit more daring than your typical designer or niche fragrance. At least the typical niche fragrances that you see talked about. There are obviously some niche fragrances that are way more daring than this one, but do you get the idea? Really well done, is a bit expensive, but 100% worth checking out if you're into rose oud fragrances of a really high quality. Plus it looks kick-ass. There we go, Parfums de Marley a cat. I'll never finish this video. 
It's never gonna happen. And there we go, Parfums de Marley, a caster. If you're interested in this, remember the 20% off code at caster20. Check that out on maxaroma.com. I am a fan of Parfums de Marley in general. They're niche fragrances, but they're very wearable. They're like niche fragrances made for the designer market, if that makes any sense. Like they're niche fragrances, but at the same time, they have designer mass appeal. All right, guys, if you smell this one, let me know what you think about it. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.